Joining me now is Chuck Todd, moderator of Meet the Press. Good morning, Chuck. Good morning, Christy. You have Senator Raphael Warnock on today. He was a key reason the Senate now has an exact 50-50 split and, of course, a Democratic majority mm -hmm. with the VP's tie-breaking vote. But President Biden campaigned a lot on bipartisanship. So how will Senator Warnock be able to do both, you know, reach across the aisle while also working to accomplish Biden's agenda in the Senate? Well, look, I think that's been a, a, a real challenge, and I think that Right now you have, it does appear as if there's, it were more polarized, that there, it is a strategy for most Republican senators to sort of stick together um, in, in opposition. It was a political strategy that was successful Republicans after uh, Barack Obama was elected in 2009, and it did help them in the 2010 midterms. So that, that to me seems to be the biggest hurdle, is that, is that there's not a political incentive really, particularly for Republicans right now, to, to work across the aisle. They don't see that incentive. So most of the conversation I expect to have with Senator Warnock this morning is going to be on voting rights and, and whether he, he believes there needs to be that the filibuster shouldn't be at play with this. Okay, how do you make that happen? Mm. That's the big question. Okay, so one of your other guests this morning is Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas. So mm -hmm. we have to talk about what's going on at the border. Um, unaccompanied minors are flocking to the border seeking asylum. I think this month the rate was about 400 people a day. And Mayorkas has said they're working right. around the clock to manage it. But how does he manage that situation while the House just voted to give Dreamers a path to citizenship? Is that a mixed message? Well, that's been a concern that in general, just the change in administration sent the message and that migrants got the message that, hey, um, the Biden administration is going to treat us better when we get to the border. Um, and one big policy change that Biden did put in was unaccompanied minors would be taken into the country, maybe at a shelter, maybe placed with a family, um, while their asylum claim was heard. Now, the Biden folks say they want to move these asylum asks in country. But the question is, how do you disincentivize these unaccompanied minors from coming to the border um, when you get taken and you get accepted into the country even temporarily and without having to suddenly have um, as many as there's been one estimate, we could have as many as two million unaccompanied minors this year make it to the border if this policy isn't looked at again. So I think that they want to have one policy on humanitarian grounds but is it, has it created a market efficiency where literally parents are actively sending their kids without them because they think it's an easier shot to get into the country? It'll be another meaty conversation this morning. Chuck, thank you.